hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use chatbox control in our qt qml application and how to use its property and how to use its event and how to customize the chatbox control by use of its style sheet so let's start so import the first of all qt quick controls Point fifteen, and now let's create the checkbox. Use ID property to set the name. In Qt widget application, we use uh, object name for uh, set the name, and here we use ID and set the default value is true, and let's set the anchor. Display our combo box uh, checkbox in center of our application. Let's set the width 400 and let's set the height is 100. Now let's run the application. Uh, here you can see, let's set this some text property. Check me and check it. So you can see. Now let's create the uh, on check event, on check change event, print the message, console.log, checkbox status, use check property. Now let's run the application and see it. So you can see the status. So by this way you can easily create the a checkbox control. And now let's some style sheet on it. So let's set the first background style sheet. Let's set the border. and also set the border color so pick up any one color let's pick up this one so you can see the property Now let's set this some style sheet on indicators. So let's set this some style sheet for it. Indicator, indicator rectangle. So here let's set the ID. My checkbox indicator. And set this width and height for our indicator control. Here, let's set the 50 and set same the height also. Set this some radius for it. Set 10. And also, we can set the border color for it. So pick up any one color, let's select this one. And also set the border width. Mm, 3 and set the position. So set this margin and display our control in center of our. So calculate the center location. So just simply dot height minus our combo box indicator, checkbox indicator height and divided by 2. So by this way you can easily get this center point of a uh, vertical center point. Now set the rect property on it. So 
so set the visible my checkbox dot checked okay also set the color on it so pick up any one color let's select uh, this one okay now set also border color for it so let's copy this same color for border also and set the radius here for it and set set the anchor and mark set some margins here we set 10 and set the anchor also and fill in our parent okay now let's run the application so you can see the style sheet of our indicator control you can see this, this one is the our border color of out of outer rectangle and inner color is our child rectangle so let's change one more color and now let's run the application again so you can see the indicator with a different color now let's set this some text property or text style sheet on it just simply copy this one in here also here set the id my checkbox text and set this some font property like font size is uh, 15 also set the bold property and you can set the color also here so let's pick up any one color here so let's pick up this one color okay and here we can set the uh, location and of our uh, text control so let's set the uh, center of uh, vertical and horizontally center so just simply checkbox indicator dot x plus checkbox indicator width plus 10 this is the margin of our uh, text and also set the uh, center point of uh, center location so just simply checkbox height minus checkbox text size divided by 2 now let's run the application so you can see so just remove this property and run the again So you can see the our checkbox control style sheet and its property and its event also. So by this way you can easily create the checkbox control and set its property and also you use the events and set the indicator and background rectangle style sheet by this way. So please drop your drop your comment if you have any questions and please like this video and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with your friends and thanks for watching my video thank you